Okay, today we're going to set up a spreadsheet to calculate inventory turnover ratio for a company. So first thing we're going to do is go to Excel, and I've gone ahead and entered a couple of column headings just to make this go a little bit quicker. We're going to have a company name, and you can see I've selected Walmart for the year 2010. We need to get the cost of goods sold. That's the first piece of information that we need to find for Walmart. Cost of goods sold, remember, is the cost of inventory for the entire year. And we also need to get the current inventory value. We're going to put that in column C. Then we're going to do a little quick calculation in column D. We're just going to figure out the inventory carrying cost based on 25%. And 25% is, a, I guess, a common benchmark that we can use. Basically, that column is going to tell us what does it cost Walmart to actually hold the amount of inventory that they're holding, 25% for the course of a year. And then we're going to calculate our inventory turnover ratio. So let's get our data first. First thing we need to do is get what's the cost of goods sold for Walmart in 2010. And the best place to find that is on their income statement. And so if we look in their income statement under cost and expenses, we see the cost of sales. So that's their cost of goods sold. The number here in the column says 304657. But we need to look at this amount in millions except per share data. So let's see, what does that mean? That's uh, 304,657 million. So what does that number mean? 304,657. That's 304 billion dollars for their cost of goods sold. Wow, that's a big number. Uh, next thing we need to do is we need to get what their inventory level is. And we're not going to find that on the income statement. But if we look on a balance sheet, we should find their inventory level. And right under assets, we find inventories. And similarly, we got a number that says 33,160. But again, we got to look and see amounts are in millions. So that's 33,000 million. 33,160. That's really that's thirty-three billion dollars worth of inventories what they're holding. Then we just want twenty-five percent of that number, so we can use a formula. And here I'm going to type plus twenty-five percent times their inventory value. So that tells me that it costs them eight billion dollars a year just to hold this inventory. And then we need our inventory turnover ratio. And if we remember our inventory turnover ratio, we got a formula of cost of goods sold divided by average inventory. So here I'm going to take my cost of goods sold, which is column B, and I'm going to divide by my inventory level, which is column C. And it's going to give me a number like 9, which tells me that their inventory turnover ratio is 9. So that means they bring inventory in and sell it 9 times during the course of a year. So pretty simple calculation. Um, when we start comparing different retail companies, we can look at their inventory turnover ratio. So even though we might have a much smaller company where their cost of goods sold is small and their current inventory value is sold, uh, current inventory value may be much smaller than Walmart. We can look at the inventory turnover ratio because it's a unitless number. We can compare inventory turnover ratio from one retail organization to another. And of course, the higher the number, that means the more efficient they are with their inventory dollars. In other words, they're not holding inventory for as long if they have a high inventory turnover ratio. So real quick spreadsheet, we learned to calculate inventory turnover ratio. We learned to calculate inventory carrying cost, and we learned to create a couple of different formulas here.